Hi there, I'm Sean Doman. In this video, I'll be reviewing this new FI8170 desktop scanner, the successor to the popular FI7160. Stay tuned and I'll walk you through its basic functions and features. I'll also tell you what I like about this scanner, what I don't like about this scanner, and what people are saying about this scanner online. At the end, I'll show you how you can download my simple guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist, setup guide, and answers to frequently asked questions. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my video in which I unbox the FI8170 and show you everything that comes with it, and my video on how to download and install the PaperStream ClickScan software. As always, if you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you end up buying the FI8170, please support my channel by using my Amazon affiliate link so that Amazon will send me a small commission at no cost to you. Okay, to get started, this is the FI8170. It was released on February 15th, 2022 as the successor to the FI7160 and has been increasing in popularity since that time thanks to some of its unique features, which I'll be talking about, which improve on the previous model. As you can see, the FI8170 is white and gray in color and is about the size of a small toaster. The whole area that it fits into on a desktop is about the size of a letter-sized piece of paper. It weighs about 8.8 .8 pounds and is 6.4 inches tall, 6.7 inches deep, and 11.8 inches wide when its slides are in. For its maximum size when its slides are out, please see my unboxing video, which can also help you determine how much space you may need to budget in front of it for post-scan documents. In terms of its technical specifications, the FI8170 scans at 600 dots per inch and supports 24-bit color scanning. It uses clear image capture technology to deliver high quality color and precise, crisp images, which increase OCR accuracy rates and remove unwanted watermarks, artifacts, and other markings on documents. In terms of connectivity, the FI8170 works in both Windows and Mac environments and can connect by USB or Ethernet network cable. An important thing to note is that the FI8170 doesn't offer wireless connectivity, which means that you can't use it directly with mobile devices such as smartphones or tablets. However, because this scanner is designed for business use, it'll generally be used in offices through secure USB or Ethernet cable connections. It can also be configured to work in a way that doesn't require it to be connected directly to a computer at all, and can instead simply scan through a network connection in a shared environment. That being said, for most people, the easiest way to use the scanner with a PC or Mac is to download and install the PaperStream ClickScan software. In my experience, the software works very well, and I made a video which shows you how to download it, set it up, and use it. For most people, this will be the easiest software to use to get up and running in the fewest steps possible. To complete more complex scanning jobs, users may also want to use the other software that's available, including PaperStream IP, PaperStream Capture, PaperStream Capture Pro, Edge Experience Capture Service, PaperStream NX Manager, Scanner Central Admin, and Easy NX Connect. However, because these pieces of software are more advanced, installing and configuring them may be beyond the technical abilities of most people and may require support from an IT provider. In terms of its look, feel, and user interface, the FI8170 has a simple, sleek design. It offers a control panel area with seven buttons and a color display. In terms of scanning capability, the FI8170 is designed to be extremely dependable and provide for heavy-duty business scanning needs. Statistically, the healthcare industry is one of the areas in which it's used the most, and I think that this speaks to the reliability of the FI8170. In healthcare, people's lives are on the line, so scanning needs to be done quickly and correctly, and that's why the FI8170 is so often the go-to scanner. However, the FI-8170 is also used heavily in the legal industry by lawyers, legal assistants, and court workers, in the accounting world by accountants, bookkeepers, and clerks, in government by civil servants, officials, and technicians, and in enterprise business by entrepreneurs, developers, and other business people. In recent years, the FI-8170 has also become popular with collectors of sports cards for scanning cards like these. In terms of its capacity, the FI-8170 can load 100 sheets at a time and achieve scanning speeds of 70 pages per minute single-sided or simplex and 140 pages per minute duplex or double-sided, and it can scan up to 10,000 sheets per day. When you compare this against personal and small business series scanners, these scanning speeds are at the next level. And in addition to scanning quickly, during the scanning process, the software can perform blank page removal, image cleanup, streak reduction, auto-rotation, de-skewing, optical character recognition, or OCR, searchable PDF creation, and other functions. 
The software can also automatically name and file scan documents based on their contents and depending on how your software was set up. Most importantly, the FI-8170 can be configured to perform advanced sorting and organizing functions based on document contents. In addition to scanning standard letter size documents, the FI-8170 can also scan legal size documents, plastic cards, business cards, photos, envelopes, and other documents, and even bound materials like pamphlets and passports. Finally, with respect to price, the cost of an FI-8170 can vary, but I typically see them for sale on Amazon between $1,000 and $1,500, depending on different software and warranty options. Okay, so when it comes to the things that I like about the FI-8170, my list is fairly long. It's compact, fast, reliable, and has advanced image processing features that make it a great choice for businesses and offices that need to scan large volumes of documents quickly and efficiently, and need powerful solutions for working with the data once it's scanned. The FI-8170 is also fairly compact and takes up little space on your desk. It has a simple yet sturdy design and looks professional. Finally, the FI-8170 comes with a truly amazing software suite that makes short work out of scanning and managing documents. When it comes to working with third-party software, the FI-8170 is Twain and ISIS compatible, meaning that it can be used directly with countless other software solutions that are built to interface with a scanner. I've had many people mention to me that they want a scanner that interfaces with QuickBooks and other accounting software, and this scanner will do that. When it comes to the things that I don't like about the FI-8170, there are only three things on my list. The first is the price. Because the FI-8170 scanner is a high-end scanner, it comes with a premium price tag. It's more expensive than many other scanners on the market, and this can be a drawback for budget-conscious people. However, for most users, this should simply be considered a business cost, and ideally the FI-8170 will pay for itself in terms of its performance and capabilities. The second thing I dislike is the weight. While the scanner is compact, it's relatively heavy and weighs almost nine pounds. This makes it a little bit more difficult to transport and move around. However, I suppose that the offset here is that the FI-8170 is heavy because it contains a lot of well-engineered technology in a compact space. My third dislike is that there's no Wi-Fi connectivity. As I mentioned, I think that most people will use this scanner in an office setting using wired USB or LAN cables. The upside of using wired connections is that they're generally more secure because they represent one last potentially exploitable attack surface for hackers. However, wireless connectivity is a fairly basic feature on most devices these days, and I think that users should at least have the option to connect wirelessly, even if they don't use it. When it comes to online reviews, the FI-8170 has been reviewed hundreds of times on Amazon and other websites. According to my research, people typically rate it between 4 and 5 out of 5 stars. In terms of positive reviews, many users have praised the speed, image quality, ease of use, and reliability of the FI-8170. Many reviewers also note how well-built and durable it is. In terms of negative reviews, some users have expressed frustration with the software that comes with the scanner, citing compatibility issues with their operating system, or difficulty setting up the scanner to work with their computer. A few reviewers have also noted that the scanner may be too expensive for some smaller businesses. In general though, users seem to appreciate the scanner's advanced features, such as its automatic document feeder and double feed and jamming prevention systems. Many also praise the scanner's compact design and fast scanning speeds. I've read hundreds of reviews and overall, it seems that the FI-8170 is generally well regarded by its users. Okay, so before I wrap up, if you liked this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If there's anything else that you have a question about that I didn't cover in this video, please be sure to comment below and I'll respond to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, please be sure to check out my videos in which I unbox this scanner and show you how to install, set up, and use the PaperStream ClickScan software. If you end up purchasing an FI-8170, please use my Amazon link below so that I'll get a small commission from Amazon, which will support me and my channel. For advice on how to scan and organize all of your documents, please see my video on how to scan and organize everything. So with that, there you have it. That's my review of the FI-8170 desktop scanner. If you'd like to download my simple guide, which contains an easy to use feature checklist, setup guide, and answers to frequently asked questions, please visit my website at www.seandillman.com. Thanks again for watching. As always, I'm Sean Dillman.